if you recall our previous lecture then we have introduced back gears in step cone pulley drive type of head stroke and then we have seen by using back gears we get uh, twice the speed available from regular cone pulley drive right now then we have taken one example and in that example we have found uh, number of feet on back gears and then after you have been asked to find out build diameter uh, that uh, build length and uh, pulley diameter right so uh, the problem was for eight number of feet total eight number of feet right and the transmission ratio equation for simple step cone build pulley drive is uj is equals to dj divided by small dj is equals to nj divided by n0 where n0 is the input shaft rpm and nj is speed available at jth uh, pulley then capital dj is input cone uh, pulley diameter and small dj is output cone pulley diameter for jth pulley combination right and for this now we are taking phi is equals to 2 j minus z i should say here z dash so in previous session also we have discussed about this so z dash is nothing but z divided by 2 or we can say z dash is the number of speeds available from step cone pulley drive without back gears right now next we need to find out transmission ratio for four pulley combinations because we are getting four speeds with the help of step cone pulley drive so first i take u1 then this will be d1 by small d1 right and this equals to equals to n1 this equals to uh, n1 divided by n0 and this is nothing but if you if you put in this equation or if you are having ray diagram or a speed chart with you then with reference to that speed chart you can say this ratio is nothing but phi raised to minus 1.5 right or without ray diagram if you put values here if you take j is equals to 1 and z dash is equals to 4 then you will get minus 1.5 right so first uh, combination of pulley that is giving us reduction in speed right which is minus 1.5 right so this is our uh, speed 1 which is n1 written here but actually this n1 is representing in our uh, speed chart n5 right so please verify this with our uh, previous lecture data so this n1 is nothing but n5 right so please uh, please try to understand this uh, suffix uh, values because this equation we derived when we have not introduced uh, back gear ish, uh, back gear in the step cone pulley drive that's why we are getting this variation right now similarly so so now if you put phi value which is 1.5 then this will give you some ratio value right okay so now next we go for u2 second pulley combination then transmission ratio on uh, second pulley combination that is capital d2 divided by small d2 right is equals to n2 by n0 here again i would like to say this n2 is nothing but in our speed chart represents n6 right and here if you solve if you are not having ray diagram then just put this 2 as a j in this equation then here we'll get 
five to the power minus point five minus value is indicating reduction in the speed from n zero, right? Now similarly, if you go for u three, which is d three by small d three is equals to n three by n zero. So again. N three in our ray diagram representing N seven, right? And this, if you solve, if you put J is equals to three in this equation and Z dash is equals to four, then here we'll get five to the power positive point five, right? Similarly, now last pulley transmission ratio that is D four divided by Small d4, right? And this equals to n4 by n0. Then this will be equals to if you solve, you will get positive 1.5. And here again, this n4 is nothing but our maximum speed available from uh, step cone pulley drive with back gear, which is n8, right? So if you if you put these values, then this will give you. This here, if you put 1.5, then this will give you these ratios, right? Now, next, if you recall, then we are talk about same length of build, right? And you have given that maximum speed or uh, uh, tangential speed of pulley should not go beyond 10 meter per second. So I should say this V should not go beyond 10. Meter per second. This is what our design criteria for uh, built pulley uh, design. So we know now this is 10. Then V is equals to pi small d1 means on the output pulley. The, uh, it's a diameter of output pulley d1 n1 divided by 60. Into 1000 because this is in meter per second, so we are taking d1 in mm, that's why this is 1000, and this is 60 for n because n is in rpm, so we convert into seconds. So, this is what our basic equation of uh, tangential velocity of any uh, uh, pulley, right? So, from this, we can form equation of small d1. So, I write here small d1 is equals to uh, v, which is taken as 10. Then I should write here 10 into 60 into 1000, right? This divided by pi and n1, right? So if you if you look your data, then n1 speed is Which is nothing but in our case n1 is equals to n5. Then I will write value of n5 here. So let me make one correction. This is n5 now because if you look here, this n1 is representing in our ray diagram n5, right? So that we are taking here n5, okay? So if you put value of n5, then this n5. Is equals to actually one zero one point two. This multiply with one zero one point two, right? So from this, what you will get, you will get d one small d one, which is output pulley diameter to achieve n five speed. So that will get one eight. 87.2 mm right and now we have this ratio capital d1 by small d1 is equals to 5 5 is nothing but again 1.5 then 1.5 raised to minus 1.5 right so capital d1 is 1.5 raised to minus 1.5 into d small d1 so we got here small d1 so from there this 2 we can find out 
capital D1 which is 1027.26 right this much mm now let me tell you as per our assumption this small d1 is representing capital d4 and small uh, and this capital d1 is representing small uh, small d4 right so it is inverted uh, both the step cone they are idle right so now i need to just you go for second step means u2 from u2 just find out d2 and uh, small d2 then this will give us the d3 value right so just do that task by same process you need to do same process if you if you take here instead of d1 now if you go for d2 then take n6 speed here and just find out the value of d2 then d2 d2 uh, let me this is capital d1 oh sorry So this is capital D1. Now, if you find out small d2 and capital D2 using this second transmission ratio equation, this equation, then this is this small d2 is representing actually capital D3, and this represents small d3 right because it's a inverted arrangement fine so i hope it is clear now this is how you can find out pulley dimensions or pulley diameters and now next if you want to find out length of build then it's a open build drive then we know equation now we have diameters then d1 plus small d1 by 2 plus d1 minus small d1 whole square divided by 4 times center distance between two shafts uh, plus 2 times center distance and how much is the center distance center distance is nothing but sum of radius of both the pulley right so here this center distance c is d1 plus small d1 by 2 right so if you do that then you will get 1 4 5 7 mm right so this is what how you can find out length of build so this is complete design of uh, step cone pulley drive with back gears for